There is a whale, there is a whale. To see a whale underwater, a Buddhist whale, I mean, any whale, is, especially when you're scuba diving, it's just unheard of. I can't believe I didn't see it. <laughs> got the shot. It was and it was a great shot as well. It's an amazing, amazing experience. This was a hallelujah moment. <laughs> really My name is Win and I'm currently working at Victoria Cape Resort on Yao Pi Island. I was born and raised in, around Andaman Sea. So like, I see the issues that the, there are decrease in number of corals because of destruction. Started a coral farming plan to help the corals to grow again. Using the blue lights, it increased the growth of the coral five times faster than the ocean. But here I provide them space so like, it could cover like, the whole sands and maybe coral with like some, kind, some area that are dead. Looking forward to join the Asian Geographic Expeditions and see like how the Burma Bank is doing. So nearest island is about 50 miles away and around the bank there's a deep sea. Why not many fishing boats here? Too, too, too far. Right? Too, far yeah. too far for them, too far for, for them. the fishermen from Burma. Yeah. I'm just trying to put a mat underneath to make sure it doesn't slip. This is just my first draft. It's a rough draft. It's a work in progress. Luckily, I got some help here. Effectively, they're going to be weighted and baited cameras. We'll find a place to put the bait, and, and we, I will, I'll, I'll set up the cameras. Okay. We're going to leave the cameras running, we'll come up, uh, and we'll do a service interval. We hope there's more fish here because uh, almost nobody has been here for like four to six years. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, the corals bombed out, um, if, this, if the fish life has come back or if the fishermen are still coming back here. There are no fishing boats. She ain't ready for the eighth. He be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Time's ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, time's money, money pays. You ain't ready for the eighth. She ain't ready for the eighth. Mad at savage, me back and I'm back and it happened. They're ready to blow. I remember doing these with dirty from the street. They left me on my own. Monkey asking me about how I got the pee. I told her leaving mama grow. Then they're ringing off my phone. Then they're ringing off my phone. When divers come through, fish, predators, and even some sharks evacuate that area. If that's what's happening, these little cameras will actually capture what happens after we leave. So the hope is that there are some sharks there and that we'll, we'll catch them on, on video. Foreman went good. Let's see. Okay. After the surface interval, we'll go back down and retrieve it. You knew that Burma Banks had recovered somewhat. If she ain't ready for the eighth, he be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Pine's ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste. Uh, time's money, money pays. You ain't ready for the eighth. She ain't ready for the eighth. I will dive again, again, and again. <laughs> because like this is so beautiful, and this is the place I definitely need to experience. It's my first time diving in open water and Maggie you archipelago. It's just like uh, best experience ever for me. For me, I, I, I want to learn two things. Is that One is we have to think about for the fishermen how we can have a solution for them. We cannot just ban, this, ban fishing to how we can sustain ocean and how we can sustain the Maguey Archipelagos. 
first time we were sleeping in the ocean. Yeah, so like, yeah in Bomber Bank. Yeah, Bomber <laughs> Bank. So like, enjoying it tonight. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow. I saw sharks for the first time on this trip. And then this one, like about two to three meters, sleeping under the cave. Wow. The shark finally. I didn't expect that. Great news. Yeah. <laughs> well, finally, we got uh, that. You know, it shows that if you leave it alone, they come back. Yeah. You know, I've got hope oh. that our next time, we're going to see a different species. After like being so much under intense fishing pressure, but now yeah. No sharks like seven or eight. A lot of no sharks. Some are like come one after another, another, you know, like it's amazing. There's a whale, there's a whale. Whale, whale, whale. Half the size of the boat. Very gentle moving, but for us, <laughs> hard to breathe. Yeah, it was my first time seeing a whale. It's like so amazing. But it's like with one swipe of a tail, it can go faster than where I, I can't follow it, man. Like I got a good shot of it. It's amazing, amazing, amazing experience. To see a whale underwater, a Buddhist whale, I mean, any whale, is, especially when you're scuba diving, it's just unheard of. I can't believe I didn't see it. <laughs> Got the shot. It was and it was a great shot as well. It's amazing, amazing, amazing experience. Well. But this was a hallelujah moment. <laughs> We 
really need to do something. It's now or never. And ocean is so important for everyone and especially for the locals. It's obviously coming back. I'm, I'm hopeful for the place so if they can continue to protect it and leave it alone like this. You know, the combination of ecotourism, scuba diving, and have these no-take zones that in fact protect the populations of fish that the people rely on for food as well. If we not uh, take care of this area, next 10 years, for my boys, uh, nothing to show. Everyone's like wanting seafood and even the poor fishermen need to feed their family. But I still hope that our Maggie Archipelago can be protected. It deserves to be a biosphere reserve.